All right, I saw a few posts on like Radio Tray, but that's really for GNOME. Um, this is what I use. It's called PY Radio. It's just a Python script. So make sure you download it and extract it. But um, let me show you where the hell it is here. Go into our folder. So extract it. You should see something like this. They have like three files: this one, this one, and this one. And make sure you do chmod plus x py radio. Uh, this will allow executable permissions and when you run it dot slash py radio uh, this is what it look like right and so in curse interface so you know move up and down with your arrow keys and then you press enter and it'll and then place the stream there um, it's using M player in the back so you need M player to you know be installed also um, what else is there I think that's about it you know they do have some hotkeys like R is for random radio station, up and down is for the controls or page up, page down. Uh, volume up and down is plus and minus. Um, M is to mute, and Q or escape is to quit. So you quit like that. Now, if you want to add in your own, um, what is that? Your own custom station or whatever. Uh, there, there's this file here called the station as uh, CSV here. So I'm gonna use Vim. I'm gonna put station CSV here, and the format that they do in here is pretty easy. You just write out the name of you know the station that you want, uh, any name you want, right? And followed by a comma, and then the stations of it. So the station is usually a playlist. Uh, usually it's a PLS or M3U, right? But uh, let me show you an example of how you can add your own. Let's say, for example, IceCast directory or Shoutcast directory. These are the most popular ones, but you can use any other, you know, streams that you want. Okay. So, for example, we have this Radio Swiss uh, Jazz here. We'll copy this M3U link. Copy that sucker, and we'll call this um, I don't know, IceCast Radio One, uh, followed by a comma, and then the link. And this next one, let me see here. We'll do shotcast and we'll call it um or we'll copy this one, the first one, whatever. Copy that sucker. And we're gonna call this shotcast radio two, comma, and then the link to it. And we'll save it. And now we can, you know, dot slash py radio. And there we go. This is the two entry that we just created. Uh, and then you can push enter, and it should play it. Uh, and we'll mute it there because we don't want to hear that. But that's how this works. And I like this because you know you can use it on any Linux system. Um, I think all the Linux system has Python installed, but you need to install uh, M Player also, which is very common. Uh, so that's it for this one. Um, you know you don't have to use the radio tray because that's mainly for GNOME and if you have a pop down terminal makes it more convenient also other thing I'll probably want to say is um, add some add these two alias to your uh, bash RC file so this is how I have it as this one is to access the program because you don't want to go into the program and do dot slash py every time right just point it to whatever your script is at and this other one is just to edit the, you know, the stations, right? So if I wanted to run um, PY Radio, I don't have to go into the folder no more. So if I go in my home folder, I just type in PY Radio. If I spell that right, PY Radio, and I'll access it there. Or the other one is CFG, and this will give me the station, so I can edit it really quick. So all I got to do is add those, uh, you know, into your bash rc file again those was what was that there you go these two entries all right this one's for the main program and this one's for the configs uh that's how, just how i have it as if you want to do it also that's up to you but um, i would recommend it anyways that's it for this one